So guys, we're back with another review of Bethang. I'm actually sad there's no subtitles this game. And this is a game I'm interested to see because after the HP nerfs, I think this matchup is not hard. I think it's I think it's honestly unplayable. I don't think this matchup is I don't think this matchup is actually playable. I think Zoe is one of the hardest counters to Kenna now because of the HP thing. Because she could just keep auto attacking and just zoning, 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 zoning over and over again. And you can't do anything. It's like, it's based on RAG, what she picks up on her W, but like most of the time, whatever she picks up, it's broken. It's either a barrier or the heal, redemption. Bro, one time I was playing a game, okay? It was like four minutes. It, bro, it was four minutes. I was level three, bro. We invade the enemy blue buff. Zoe, I was playing jungle, right? I was playing jungle Ekrim. We invade, the Zoe, enemy Zoe comes, she has Targon. I'm like, yeah, whatever, we still win the play. Like, there's no way she's going to shield for that much. It's it's four minutes. She presses W, the shield was 350 shield at four minutes, man. I don't even think Targon shields that much at 20 minutes for support players, man. How is that possible? That champion's not bounced. <laughs> Yo, on God, bro. People who watch the stream know exactly what I'm talking about, too. If you're watching the stream when it happened, people know exactly what I'm talking about. That was crazy. I was raging, bro. I mean, that was just, that was just not balanced. I just did not believe what I just saw. So already you could see Beffing struggling, getting lose, losing a bit of HP. Already needs to, to pop the first potion. And even if you trade really well with her, it's hard to get a winning trade because of corrupting pots. I mean, they get corrupting pots. They have cookies. They have time warp tonic, and you just can't do anything. There's a way that not go corrupting though. She she went Dorans, but she still has the cookies. So and the. the the health potion so she still all sustains you it's also hard to go for the e2w2 because you know if they're good you could use their e as you e like this zoe uh it's not that it's, it's, she's not bad she's really not bad but she needs to be careful here Befang's level four she's level three he could actually kill her i think here oh, never mind she got level four but illy's ganking let's see what she could do flash here or what she could flash here right now if she hits it uh, zoe's dead but is she gonna flash for the e i don't think so she had an angle you see now it's a bit too late because she's getting... Yeah, that was terrible. She, if she flashed E there and she hits it, Zoe's dead. So I'm actually surprised she didn't go for that. Bad things recalling. Doesn't have money for Dirk. It's pretty awkward. But it's a good way to recall because it's cannon. So there's no way Zoe's going to push it in time. But it's just a bit awkward. Three long swords though. It's not bad. But I mean Dirk's definitely better, right? That let's all you early is kind of broken. So we did not crash it full the way all the way so she has to stay here she actually looks like she recalled but Bethangs didn't like let it like kind of freeze he just pushes it kind of surprises me honestly it was slightly pushing towards him but if he pushes it does she miss more that was five minions there does she lose all five i think she does let's see she actually did lose all of them, so it's actually way better to push. I, I, I'm actually learning there. I would have literally let that freeze. She would have probably missed what? She would have missed the same amount. I think it's actually better when I look. Look what look look how cringe it is. It's so cringe. Like, so she comes. She literally misses everything but the Q. Oh, Bethany dash into it. That's so unlucky. But then she's just in night, she runs on a million, million things, she misses everything. And let's see how she's running away. Oh. So, okay, so let's let's just see what happens. So instead of just running, he auto, auto attacks her in his minions, so she takes more damage. Q, W, Q. And she, nice flash from Zoe though, but the jungle's gonna trade, but... Is she? Wait, she did not have R or what? She gets the kill, right? Yeah. Probably dies from Warwick because she's going into the Balin anyway. She uses the plan Warwick flashes over the wall. Fears her, but Balin now has Pryo. Or dud, do they? Bubble. Saves her. But Balin's gonna... Yeah, that's really good, actually. Oh, Nami flashed over the wall, but Warwick followed her because she flashed and Warwick Q. That's not good. But I think he's not, he's, not, he's not even looking to go. I'm kind of surprised about that. Why is he not, why is he not going? knows it's bad i knows it's bad i didn't really see what's going on so i couldn't tell it would have been really good if the uh nami didn't didn't fail or flash like because it's kind of obvious that warrior is going to try to follow you with the, the q right so 
I mean, you could definitely dive her here. I mean, she's level 6, she's level 5. I would definitely go for it. She has no flush. I'm surprised he doesn't flush and go for it here. I'm actually really surprised here. Because even I mean, right here, she's dead. Flash E2R, auto W2 and 9 on the wall right here. She's dead. So I'm surprised he doesn't go for it. Maybe he doesn't want to blow flash? I'm not sure. Why does he not go for it? He's, he's zoning XP right now though, but Warwick's coming now. What is he doing? I'm, I'm, I don't understand. That was... was uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't understand. Why. I don't know what he's doing. I wish I had some titles right now just to, to see what he's saying because that makes no sense to me. Because that was also a massive wave. I mean, if you kill Zoe, she loses all of this. Oh my god, it's over. It's over, man. Literally, it's over, but I don't know what that was. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know. That item, look, that icon, yeah, it's Proto Bell. It looks weird, but it's Proto Bell. What was that? That's a kill. I didn't need the Ignite though, but she had no flash, so no Ignite, so she couldn't like Ignite and run away. I would have kept the Ignite there. It was good though. When they miss E, it's a window for sure to kill, especially if they have no sum, so they can't use the W movement speed. Well, who remembers when Zoe was like super meta with the... Uh, what is it called? I think it's called the uh, Nimbus Cloak. When they were going Nimbus Cloaked and they were maxing... Uh, W second on top of Nimbus, Nimbus Cloak, they were using a Night Bolt, they were flying, bro. I don't know who remembers that because it's been a while. It's like when Zoe was like when, when they just re re uh, remade the Nimbus, Nimbus Cloak rune that, that was so broken. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was that was you know, that was not fun to play. Like, you just could not run away. Like, it was it was some next level broken. Like, she was getting ganked, bro. She just ignites you just to get the movement speed and Nimbus Cloak. And she just ran so fast. It was so broken. Then they, they fixed it, obviously. And now they max E second instead of W, which also helps. But I, 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 I don't know. I feel like Zoe, they, they should... The champion's not played, so they're going to do it. But, like, for, for one tricks, I think Zoe is pretty good champion if you're a one trick. Because there's some things that, to me, does not make sense. Like, like her W... Icon things to me it feels like if you step on it they should just disappear but it doesn't work like that it just stays forever so it's kind of weird. Warwick put his W on her I'm surprised Beffing does not walk by he even walks in I mean he's kind of trolling what is he doing? I don't understand how Beffing's playing this game I'm being honest I don't understand. I'm pretty sure he's still dead because it's Warwick. Yeah he's dead. I don't know what he's doing I really don't. Warwick has O2 for sure. So. Uh, I mean, we see Warwick W and he runs in, so I'm, not, I'm actually. Um, I don't know what Beffang is doing this game, honestly. I really don't. It's not really the typical Beffang. Still a level up on Zoe in his one and three. That's funny. So imagine if he killed her earlier when he had to flash there, he would have probably be like, honestly, two levels for sure. That's hundred percent two levels. Oh. Yeah, we should look to do better EQs there, so it's, we could definitely kill it without ult. The thing is, though, she has flash, so it's actually risky. Also, the, the change on the EQ not following targets here is pretty bad for Ken in that matchup, because if you EQ and Zoe R's, she's going to dodge all the damage, so it feels really bad. It, it really does feel bad. So now when you E on Zoe, you can't EQ right away. You got to hold your Q in case she uses the ultimate, right? Then you could Q and make sure it doesn't miss. That's kind of the, the key to this, uh, this this matchup now. Even when you you e on on Zoe, don't don't R right away because if she ults, she's gonna dodge your ult, right? But if you do it by surprise, like let's say like a flash, I mean exactly like that. Like I was, I mean I was exactly getting into that. If you do it, you know with a flash, they can't react. <laughs> the moment I talk about it, he does this with. Me. But you see, this is the combo I would have liked to see earlier, right? When she was on the wall, uh, you know, we were talking about earlier, like, I would have liked to see this earlier, so I'm actually surprised he didn't do it. Now he doesn't have eyes, so obviously he needs to R, so he needs to R before. 
But before you had ice, so there was no there was no danger there at all. Like I'm gonna be honest, this this is not balanced because like he's one in three and he could still do that. Like he's one in three. The level up though, and you could just one shot and she's almost full HP. It's kinda weird. Champion's not the champion's not balanced, man. The champion's not balanced. He comes not balanced. <laughs> It's kind of funny to me, honestly. So he pushes, but they come in, so he just recalls, gets the claw, comes back in. Special. We have claw now, we don't even need ult to, to kill Zoe. If we dodge the E, we could kill her. I mean, right now, I would look to kill her for sure. I would pop the potion, I would look into it with brush, and I would definitely try to kill her for sure. He grabs Izo instead. He's two levels now. He would, yeah, he would have been three levels for sure. Zoe's playing, is playing right. You see how she's really, literally going to another screen when she has no E. She doesn't give him the window, which is good. The only thing is though that she has flash, so now he has no flash, so he can't do the surprise EQ, so he needs to find a way to kill her uh, definitely this time. I would try to beat the E here. Really nice. Nice poke. We could definitely go for a dive, but like I said, it's the flash. We gotta remember the flash. I think we gotta play with ice juice so she can't flush. I think that's the angle. I think that's why he keeps getting ice. Top trading one for one. She queues here. Warwick's here. We should be running, but he still stays up. This is the really bad. He should be. Okay, there he goes. He runs nice. So, how it works the W of Warwick, it's. You don't need to be half HP for him to use it. If he just presses it and he's near you, it's gonna go on you. So it's gonna get all the same bonuses as you were low HP. When you see that icon there, you just gotta run if you're not half HP. Obviously, if you're actually, half, I can't tell, man. If you're half HP, it's gonna be there, you know, on its own. But you see him playing with Fog of War here, trying to catch Zoe. But the Zoe doesn't play bad. I mean, it's D1, so obviously it's better than Pod 3, the last review we did. But yo, I feel like there was a window right here to kill her. I really do. I really do feel like there was a window here to kill her. Like right here, he, take the damage of the Q. Like it doesn't matter. Like if she does that, like is that allowed? Like EQ R auto attack in night. I think she dies. Honestly, I really do. I really, really do. I feel like that was not allowed. Pretty sure that kills. Honestly, EQ R EQ R auto in night. I think she dies, bro. I really do. Yeah. Warwick's mid again here, he's running away, taking the ward. At this point, uh, even the, oh, that Q bug happened there. You need to fix that, bro. At this point, the game's gonna be hard, I think. Because Balling's losing hard, everyone's losing, and he's not really like 1v9 right now. So, if they win, I don't think he's gonna drop 20 kills, but we'll see. You grab Dragon and they're naturally gonna come mid, so yeah, he needs to be careful here. They're definitely gonna gank mid. He wants to set up a three-man dive top, which is good. What you should be doing. Sarah's gonna push and they just dive. At least we pull the wave that that is nice. She knows what she's doing. Chandel also playing a wall, pulling the wave. He's gonna die, but he's the most important part is like he's gaining time, right? So in the meantime, they're diving the they're balling, right? If you just stay under threat, like if Chandler just stayed under the threat, he would have died anyway, but he would have died faster. So it's just better to uh, gain as much time as possible, right? Wait, what just happened? My bad, I zoned out. Oh, okay, just at least came in gank. He flashed for it, because otherwise Zoe would have flashed away with the move into the W, she would have lived. So he has to flash there. 
Nice. He should be able to get the turret here. Oh, I rigged on him. Never mind. Rip. Genesis here as well. Takes ice. Stops him. Mm, I think turret took brush there. That's kind of end. He's probably dead because of it. Warwick does not ult. Oh, Jenna flashes for it. Warwick has no ult. Jenna's trolling because Trundle was coming, so she blue flash to take it. So it's like, it's not that bad. He goes actually Serpents this game. I mean, they have Warwick. That has no shield. They have Janna though that has shields. Case I ult. But the Serpent's actually that good. Oh, he's been going Serpents when like, it's not that good. I mean, it's not that good. You have Janna, but I think Janna is just a terrible champion. You don't need this. Trundle has no shields. Warwick has no shields. I think it's pretty bad, actually. It's not bad, but I mean, Yumu is definitely better. But sometimes when he's not fed, he, he needs like snowball. He just buys serpents. He's been doing that more and more. I actually never tested that. I need to test that. <laughs> oh, the exhaust comes in. Rip. I'm gonna be honest. Even if there's no exhaust, I don't think you one shot. Do you? Yeah, I don't think you one shot because Jenna shielded before, which is good. Because now the serpents doesn't affect the shielding, but it's not only that. It's like you only have one Q, right? So you E R auto, Prosca auto, but you have no more spells after that. So even if there's no exhaust, honestly, like I don't think she dies. She's probably here. So even with no exhaust, I think that's a mistake. And then there's the, there's the Jenna, and then there's the Jenna ult on top of that. So I mean that never kills. So I'm not sure about that one to be honest. I think that's just end honestly. Ooh, we just murdered her ass. Let's see that. Let's see that, because Illy's got destroyed. Look at it. Essence Fever jumped. <laughs> Look at it, bro. Yo, that guy got... Yo, that champion got... Yo, what is this, man? Essence Fever Trundle. Yo, this champion, bro, Trundle is one of the hardest, even against Kiana, because usually there's some champions you could dodge the abilities by going invisible, like Darius R. Like, if he starts his ult, but you go invisible, you stop it. But Trundle, if he starts queuing you, bro, it doesn't stop. Like, you just... You're, he's dead again. Oh my god, he could have traded... He could have traded one for one if he... Turns on uh, Zoe faster with using Prowler's Claw or... Doesn't miss ultimate on Janna. Seems looking hard, man. But at the same time, it's like... I think Elise is really ahead, right? Not really, she's 3 and 6. Did I see Stride Breaker? That Trundle build actually does not seem bad at all, like for real. It actually does not seem that bad. He's grabbing Dirk, bro. I hope he doesn't go Edge Knight, man. Although. I don't really like Hedgenai, I think it's the really good against Zoe though. Against Zoe you feel it, for sure. There's no way that's good for the enemy team, I don't believe it. Jana troll, like she ulted Kenna away but then she didn't continue the ult to continue to heal her, she just ran and died by the end. <laughs> Oh, yo, that guy just won the game, bro. That was crazy. I would not even have done that, bro. I would have went on the the, 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 the Warwick there. I would have just Q, W, E, Q, the Warwick. But look at this guy. He plays it so slow. Like, he sees the two carries there. Because Warwick does, does not matter. Like, this guy is useless. Just Ws and then he turns away. Flash E, R on both of them with the claw. And getting all four people. $1,000 bounty, $700 bounty. Oh my god, bro. That was that was really good, honestly. Grabs walls, we flashes away. That was so clean. They're back in the game now because of that. Because they get Baron now. That was actually so clean. That was actually... Yo, that was actually... That was actually next level. <sighs> it's not even mechanically. Because mechanically, that was not even hard. It's just like the, the, the knowledge of not going on Warwick. Like, I like, has played so fast that... I would have definitely went on Warwick. Oh, I think that's why he went Serpents, because am I watching the Warwick build properly? Did I see Gale Force Warwick? Okay, nah, this guy has to be in lane. Is that legit? There's no way that's legit. That can't be legit, I don't believe it. Okay, the, the Serpents make more sense. I, I didn't see the Warwick. I didn't see he had Sterex. 
Guys, Edge over the grudge. But he has the gold for last whisper, so it's not the end of the world. But I'm actually surprised that no, not Edge. I meant he, buy, he buys Edge over the uh, the Yumus. I'm actually surprised about that, to be honest. If I buy Serpents, I really like to buy Yumus before buying Edge, to be honest. I really, really do. I think it's better. But this game, I think maybe it's different this game because I mean Zoe, it's like really good, just for the long range ease. Nice hold. I mean, Rumble seems tanky because he had a lot of HP, but he has no resistances. He's going full glass cannon, so we could definitely one shot. There's also this guy. Um, uh, you guys probably know who it is. It's a uh, hi. It's Dobi. He's like a YouTube channel. I think he's like 500,000 subs or something. Something crazy. He did that video. You probably saw it. That video about Kiana, like in the early season. He did like the secrets of Bethang. I think he got like almost a million views. I think it's like 700,000 views or something. And he started playing Kiana because of Bethang. I was watching him. The guy he plays on Korea. I was watching, like, he, I think he's plot one, actually. Yeah, he's plot one. And I was wa watching plot one, like, on the stream. I watched two games. Like, yo, the quality of plot, the plot one in Korea versus NE. Yo, it was not even close. Like, it was not close at all. Like, obviously, it, like, it definitely wasn't, like, insane because it was plot one. But, like, I'm saying, like, the plot one was so much better than any plot one. Like, the plot one there, it's probably Diamond 2 NE. Like, on, on, like, for real. Like, no joke. It's almost like a whole tier ahead now. Like, I literally saw, like, maybe not. Honestly, maybe not. Maybe Diamond 3. I'm, okay, between Diamond 2 and Diamond 3, honestly. But, like, it was impressive to see, like, how the good the Plot 1 was. Some people say that Diamond is, like, Master. Like, they're, they're, I mean, Plot is, like, Master. They're, they're buddy. He's going sideling top. They have Baron, so... I don't know why he just doesn't stay with the team bot. Yeah, I think that's kind of an thing to go top there. Especially if the wave's so far top. You have to run all this. Yeah, you're kind of wasting time. Just stay with the team. If the team won anyways, so good. Aurelia goes top, which is good. I mean, this is just a mistake from Aurelia from the beginning. I mean, she should just be matching the, the Chondo. And I can do a lot more in team fight than Aurelia. That's the thing with Aurelia. Like, the team fight's a bit awkward. It's not bad, but, like, it's not good. Like, compared to Kiana. I think that's why I really like Kenna more than all the other assassins, like, you know, especially Zed. Talon mid is, like, really bad, so like, I would never play that. But, like, Zed, Zed was, like, the only one I was looking at. It's, like, it's just, the team fight of Zed is, is not it. I think Zed's kind of boring, too, to be honest. I don't really like things. Kenna's not that boring. At all, I never get bored playing her. And I never had a watch it, because I've always been that, that guy that, like, oh, he has no mana, bro. That's so present of mine. I was Oh, he could have maybe. I think he could have killed Jana here because he got Prince of Mind there. He tried to. He have W two. I think he would have killed her. But uh, yeah, I was been like playing like maximum three champions when I play a position because I would try to like learn the most of each champion so then I could have a big pool. And I never like stuck to a champion that long, like I've been playing Kiana. But he's gonna go last. That's just interesting to see. I mean, I don't think BC is good. I mean, it's not bad, but I don't think it's the best. I think G is really good this game. I would buy I would buy a uh, stopwatch for sure. I think G is kind of underrated to be honest. I think it's one one of the, one of the uh, oh my god! You guys flashing the wall. It's one of those items that's like really psychological. Like you see someone with G, and you kind of like. Oh, did he offer serpents? Want to see the the shield reduced? Why did it not? Yo, he, okay, five twenty one. He he offered prowlers, bro, and it didn't show anything. Is that normal? I want to see his prowlers damage at twenty five minutes. And he's not even that fed, he's nine and seven, so I want to see it. It's probably gonna be like a thousand. I call it I call it uh I call it thousand one hundred. Please go. Bro, this mouse is no man! I'm at point twenty-five, it's that fucking there's no way. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, bro. I'm biting over this, but I need to see this. Okay, I thought it was pause, man. I fucked up my bad man. I'm choking, my bad, I'm selling. Okay, it's really less. It's 679. Holy shit, that's dog shit. What the fuck? 600 at 25 minutes? That's kind of low, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually low as fuck. It's not low, but like, 
like bare thing. Usually it's higher than that. Probably be a thousand, honestly. At the same time, I mean, it's not a game that you rolled, so it kind of makes sense, but not really, I feel like. 29, 27 minutes? Ooh! Daddy. W flash. Look how he stays like out of range. Not, he's not, he doesn't even stay in E range. He stays to be able to use the W and then the E range. Like, like look how he W flash yard. Like, that's so clean, bro. Wow. Well done. Well done. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. We'll see you guys next video. Take care, guys.